Hey guys, today we're talking about NVIDIA. It's been a hot minute since we looked at NVIDIA in this channel and a lot has changed on this platform. There's a lot of new features that I'm excited to share with you today. Now, I do wanna let you know that my friends at NVIDIA are sponsoring this video and I know it's unusual for me to do sponsored content on this channel, but I've been talking about NVIDIA not sponsored for years. Maybe you saw this video or that video. So if they wanted to sponsor me today so I can highlight what's new, who am I to argue, right? They also wanna give you guys 25% off of the NVIDIA cost. You can make videos as low as $15 a month on NVIDIA, but if you use this promo code, you're gonna get a bigger discount. So let me just jump right into NVIDIA with you guys and show you what's new. So here we are on the NVIDIA platform. If you've never seen it before, this is what it looks like. There are a lot of different ways to make video. One is pre-made templates. There's a lot of different categories here, intros and logo reveals, video ads, um, bite size ads, slideshows. So if you don't have any ideas um, and you just are looking for some inspiration, there's 5,000 templates here in NVIDIA for you to work with. The other way you can work with NVIDIA is by using text to video where you upload a script and NVIDIA uses AI to assemble a video for you. I'm not gonna get too deep into that tutorial today because I have covered it. I will link below to another video where you can see that feature. But today we're gonna start from scratch because I'm going to make a YouTube short in just minutes for this YouTube channel. So I'm gonna head over here to blank canvas and let's select the vertical format. So you can either do a 16 by nine aspect ratio, square for like Instagram or vertical, but I'm gonna select vertical and select make a video. So here's what the interface looks like when you're building a video from scratch in NVIDIA. Now, you wanna make sure that you're using Google Chrome. NVIDIA is optimized to be used with Google Chrome. I'm gonna start by uploading my own videos into the NVIDIA platform. So I just hit this upload button here, and I'm gonna grab these three videos that I shot on my phone. And here are my three clips right here in my uploads bin. I'm going to select this first one here. And then you get this window where you can trim up your video so you don't have like any dead space at the beginning or end. Let me just trim it real quick. Okay, and once I've trimmed it, I just hit add. So now it's dropped that clip as my first scene in my timeline down here on the bottom of the screen. Now I'm gonna go ahead before I do anything else and add the other two clips that I shot with my phone as additional scenes. So to do that, I'm going to hover my cursor over this button here for adding a scene and I'm going to select blank scene in this circumstance and I'm going to select my next clip, this one here and let me trim it up. All right, and let me hit add. So now you can see I've got a second scene down here and let's add one more scene with this last clip. Okay, perfect. Now for YouTube shorts, I know that my content needs to be under 60 seconds and I can see that this is in fact under 60 seconds right here at the top of my timeline. It shows me the duration of my entire project. So let's first play back this entire timeline so you can get an idea of what the content says. If you wanna get hired as a freelance videographer by a creative agency like mine, there's three types of shots I wanna see in your portfolio. One, I wanna see interviews. Do you know how to light an interview? Can you capture sound on set? Two, can you shoot live events? Live events can be chaotic, so I wanna know that you can run and gun and get great stuff. And three, show me some eye candy. Whatever it is that you love to shoot that's gonna make my eyes pop, put that in your portfolio too, whether that's great drone shots, maybe action sports. For more great video production tips, subscribe to my channel. Okay, so that's like the meat of the content. Now we're going to add some B-roll shots, some graphics, maybe some overlays and really give this video some spice and it's gonna happen really fast. So the first point that I make is that I wanna see interviews in your portfolio. So I've got another B-roll shot that I'm going to upload real quick to NVIDIA. All right, and now that it's uploaded, let's apply it to our first scene. So you can see here, my first scene is the first section of my iPhone video. And if I wanna get more detailed into the components of this scene, all I do is double click it 
and you get into this other more detailed timeline. So I wanna add this B-roll shot that I just uploaded to this scene. So I'm just going to hover my cursor over that clip, hit the plus sign, and I'm not going to trim it here because it's just B-roll. And now it's placed it right at the top of my scene. I actually want it to come in later when I talk about the interview. So now here it is at the end of my scene and I just want it to fill the frame. So I'm going to scale it up. And if I wanna play this back, I just hit the play button. If you wanna get hired as a freelance videographer by a creative agency like mine, there's three types of shots I wanna see in your portfolio. One, I wanna see interviews. Do you know how to light it? Okay, so the placement of that B-roll is exactly where I want it. Now I would like to add some text. I'm gonna head over to the left side of my screen here and select the text button. And you can see there's all of these different text templates to choose from with a lot of different categories. And then if you wanna see more within each category, just hit this little arrow here and you can preview the text animation by just hovering your cursor over it. I think I like this one here that says sweet. So I'm going to click it to add it to my scene and I'm gonna bring it down where I want it and I don't want it to be the entire duration of my scene. So I'm just gonna grab this little bar and have it lay over where I have the interview B-roll shot as well. Now I wanna change what this text says. So I'm just gonna highlight all of it and it's obviously kind of hard to read over his shirt so we can change the color up here at the top of our window. I like that, but I wanna change the font on this. We can search fonts. I'm gonna go Bevis New. Let's play that back and just see how it looks. One, I wanna see interviews. Do you know how to light an interview? Can you capture sound on set? All right, good. And I actually also wanna add some really basic text here as captions at the very beginning of this scene. Once I get the style of my text set up, I can just copy and paste it in my scene to maintain those properties. If you wanna get hired as a freelance videographer by a creative agency like mine, there's three types of shots I wanna see in your portfolio. One, I wanna see interviews. Do you know how to Okay, so now that we've got the text and B-roll shots for this first scene, let's move on to the next. We are gonna hit all scenes to go back. Let's focus now on this next scene. When you shoot live events, live events can be chaotic. So I wanna know that you can run and gun and get great stuff. All right, so for this next example, I don't have a B-roll shot to upload to this to represent live events. So we're gonna dig into the InVideo stock library and photo assets. There are millions of assets that you can pull from that are pre-licensed for you by InVideo. And so you can find the perfect shot for any situation. You can find those shots here under images if you're looking for still images or if you're looking for video, select the video option. And we can search in this field here. Let's search concert. That's a great example of a live event. And I'm looking for something that I think is gonna look great in the vertical format. All right, and let's add our text here. Two, can you shoot live events? Live events can be chaotic. So I wanna know that you can run and gun and get great stuff. All right, we have one more scene to go. Let's go back to all scenes. Select this third scene. And three, show me some eye candy, whatever it is. All right, this last scene needs a couple different B-roll shots. Let's go back to the B-roll library here from InVideo. Um, I wanna find a drone shot. Oh, that looks great. We'll add that in. And then we wanna find some like sports action shots. That looks good to me too. And I'm just going to reposition these and place them at the right spot in my scene. Maybe action sports. For more great video production tips, subscribe to my channel. All right, so now that we've created all three scenes, let's head back to all scenes to our main timeline. And I wanna add some transitions between these three scenes. To do that, I'm just going to click on this white box between my scenes here. And here are all of the different transition options that are included in InVideo. Now, if you've been with me for a long time and you remember the first look we took at InVideo, 
the number of transitions they've added is astounding to me. I mean, I think there were maybe a handful at the beginning. And so they've been really working hard to give you more options and develop this platform more. And I really appreciate that. Let's just grab some fun transitions to put between my video clips on my short. I'm going to select this one here, grid left. Can you capture sound on set? Two, can you? All right, and let's pick one more here. Interview, can you capture sound on set? Two, can you shoot live events? Live events can be chaotic, so I wanna know that you can run and gun and get great stuff. And three, show me some eye candy. Whatever it is that you love to shoot that's gonna make my eyes pop, put that in your portfolio too, whether that's great drone shots, maybe action sports. For more great video production tips, subscribe to my channel. Okay, so that is how my YouTube short is looking. Now let me talk to you about one of the most exciting new features that NVIDIA has added, and that is its collaboration feature. So if you're working with clients or with coworkers, let's say on social media videos, typically you used to have to like download the video, then upload it to let's say a site like Vimeo or YouTube Unlisted to maybe show someone your work before they approve it. And maybe then they would email you back notes about what changes they'd like to see that has been completely upended with the new collaboration feature in in video so let me show you really quick how it works let's head up to the top of the screen here where it says collaborate and we're going to go into collaboration mode now you can see here that my window looks a little bit different i'm going to head up to the top right of the screen and hit share and then you can enter in the email address of someone you want to look at this video before you publish it. And then you just send them an invite and then they get an email that tells them that you've requested that they collaborate with you on this video and they can go in, watch the video and in real time type in notes at point by point in the video. And then you can go in and review their suggestions or revision requests and make those changes on the fly and send it right back to them for approval. What's great about this collaboration feature is that to collaborate with someone, they don't need an in-video account. You can send that invite to anyone and anyone can go in and type in revision requests in real time. So it's so great for working with clients. It makes collaborating so easy. And as a professional video producer, I can tell you this is a very professional workflow that I do see on other platforms, but to have it on an online cloud-based platform, like in video, that's not designed for like experts in video production, but for real people to create videos super easily. It's really nice to have this very professional feeling feature. The other thing that NVIDIA offers is 24 seven chat support and their community has swelled to like 30,000 users that you can collaborate with, get feedback with, maybe trade some trade secrets with. And so it's really nice to see how much the NVIDIA community has grown. In addition, they have an awesome YouTube channel with tons of hacks for NVIDIA users. I will link to that below. So you guys, NVIDIA has come such a long way since we first looked at it. I liked it then and I love it now. I feel like it's just getting bigger and better year after year. So if you haven't checked out in video, make sure you click the link down in the description box to check it out. Use my promo code for 25% off. And I really had fun playing with in video. You guys, thank you so much. I'll see you again.